Hi everybody, how you guys doing? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix your Manjaro bootloader. And I'm very sorry for this weird guy with the chainsaw in the background, if you guys can hear that. Some idiotic guy is using a chainsaw and it's really annoying. It's like 7 o'clock at night. Who the hell uses a damn chainsaw at 7 o'clock at night? Really? I'm about to be... I'm about to be freaking... Friday the 13th over here and go machete his damn ass. But, um... Beside that, anyway... Um... Going to be using the tutorial that got out. Did so. What I did was simplify it right here. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So just hit start and then see and then let's just bring this down here so we can see this screen so what we want to do is no do not we want to go and we want to type this in so first we press C at the other grub menu which we're doing now and we want to type this one file in right here So, type it like this, and Make sure we have that right boot Intel U code. Okay, so that's right. So now we want to hit enter. That's in there. And now we want to put the second command in here. config file slash and I will put the this in the show notes down below and I will leave the link to where the tutorial is because it does um it does show you guys how to do it from Windows if you guys are on a Windows machine also but Right now, this is just for um, Linux that I'm showing you guys because I don't have my Windows drive plugged in, so. Then we want to do grab. Dot. C-F-G. So once we got all that in there, you want to press enter. And right now it will boot into your Manjaro install. And it's booting into the Manjaro, which we want. So these two commands right here is what you want to type in that'll let you boot in 
to the Manja your Manjaro install. So now that we're in the Manjaro install, give it a minute. We got our one digit password from our previous video. Giving it time to load in VirtualBox. So we got everything here in VirtualBox. So now what we want to do is grab that file again. And what we want to do is check your drive. Make sure what your root drive is on for your root partition whatever your manjaro drive and i will do all three because i've never done these other two before i usually just do um sudo f disk and slash i to show so what we want to do now is open up a terminal and let me see if I can make this text bigger so you guys can see and everything so if I can find the text um, where is the text okay right here here we go we will make this text bigger for you okay so we have the text bigger and what we want to do is do this and your password and it will show you what the disk is what your main drive is right now so it's sudo d dev sda is what we want so if it's anything else then you would need to change sda to sdb sdx sdf whatever the letter is you would need to change it to this but it should be SDA so I am just going to put this one in too to see what this does and this one shows you your F stab code and everything and I like this way to fix your bootloader instead of messing around with the stab file so I think this way is a lot simpler if you guys don't want to mess around with the stab file but I mean it's always good knowledge to know how to do that way too in case this way doesn't work for you guys so let's do this one and this one just gives you your you your um code too i don't i don't really like these two ways so i think the way i'm always going to do it is sudo f disk slash l so once you find out that you guys can clear that and then you guys can put in what you want to do is and have to install the grub again so what you guys are going to do is copy this and hit C 
sudo grub install to dev SDA. That's where your main drive is and everything. So we're going to hit install. And the installation finishes with no errors reported. This is actually, if you guys already know how to bit, um, install the regular arch, this is what happens when you install it the first time. So this should look familiar to you guys. So after this, what you guys want to do is go to, to sudo update grub this is the last command and now it's going to tell you what <coughs> OS is it finds And it might take a little bit, so just be patient, and it should take a little bit. So, usually, if you're running real hardware, it, I don't think it takes as long, but I think it does take a, still a little bit, but I'm in virtual box, so... Hello. Hi. Oh, nothing much. Where were you at? Oh, okay. Okay, I would just call him to see what was going on, that's all. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I'll call you tomorrow then. Oh. I don't know, was I supposed to re-register? I don't know.
Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. 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 No, she never came out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, me well, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, bye. Okay, so it's done. Sorry, guys, about that. I had a phone call I had to take, so sorry, guys. And it found it. So you see right here, it found Antergo's Linux release. 16.10. So... Now what we want to do is restart So we're going to restart And it's on your Manjaro It's on the Manjaro grub screen, so that's how you fix the Manjaro grub screen. And I hope you guys like this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And leave me a comment below. And please give me a thumbs up for this video, guys. And private message me if you guys have any questions or leave a comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video. Stay tuned. Thank you. Bye.